Today we're going to go over changing filters on a reverse osmosis system as well as the sanitation process. The first thing you're going to need to do is turn off your water supply and your pressure tank. When the handle is parallel with the line, this is the on position. This would be the off position, perpendicular to the line. You can change the filters under the sink, but what I like to do to make it easier is to disconnect the lines and bring it up on top. You have the fittings where you press the collet in and pull the tubes out. That one would go to your RO faucet. This one would come to go to your tank. And this is your feed, your inlet feed. And we're also going to disconnect the drain line by pushing the collet in, pulling out. Next, we're going to remove the filters using a filter wrench and wearing latex gloves. You can store these in water if you're going to reuse them or just discard them if you're going to re be replacing them with new filters. Tighten them back up. And I'm leaving the first one off that had the sediment filter in it to perform the sanitation procedure. Next, we're going to remove the membrane for the sanitation procedure. Pushing down on the collet, pull it, pulling this tube out of the cap side. It's easier to lift it out of the clip to get a better grab on it. You can even lift this filter out of the way if you need to. If this doesn't turn, if you're unable to open it, use a pair of channel locks. Just obviously not, try not to press too hard to, uh, to damage the cap. Once you unscrew this, the membrane will be inside and it'll be sealed in there very snug. Pulling with your fingers probably won't work. You'll want to use channel locks or pliers and when you're pulling on this, just be very gentle on the plastic here. And kind of twist. There we go. And if you're keeping this, then store it in water you're replacing the membrane discard at this time. Replace the membrane cap. Hand tight should be fine with these. Clip them back together. Search your tube. Whenever you're putting tubes back into fittings, make sure that once it's in, you give it an extra push. Really make sure that it's all the way in there. We're going to withdraw five milliliters of Sani system in the included syringe. There we go, set that aside. Pour the remaining in the first sump that had the sediment filter in it. Screw that back in. And make sure it's snug. Okay, now we're going to reinstall it underneath the sink. Okay, we're going to re reinstall everything. We'll start with the drain. Push firmly in. Okay, over here on the T side, here's where you'd hook your tank up. On the sediment side where you put your solution is where you'll put your inlet, your feed water. And over here, the 90 degree elbow 
on your final filter that goes to your RO faucet. Now you've got it installed. We're going to disconnect the tank line from the tank valve. We're going to use our five milliliters of sanitation solution. And we're going to inject it right in the line. And reinstall. We can turn that tank valve on at this point. And then now we're going to turn the inlet feed line on. And you'll hear water gushing through the system due to there's no restriction, no filters, no membrane. It'll gush through there very qu quickly and fill your tank up. You're going to want to make sure your reverse osmosis faucet is shut off at this time. So it's in the off position. Now you'll be waiting for the tank to fill up. This will only take a matter of minutes, maybe as much as 10 minutes, and then your tank will be full. The sanitation solution will now be throughout every component of the system, including the tank. You'll wait 10 additional minutes and let it rest. Then you'll open the faucet and let it run for 10 minutes. Then you'll repeat this process. You'll shut the faucet off, let it rest for 10 minutes, and then turn the faucet back on and let it flush for 10 minutes. After you've completed this, you'll turn the faucet off and then you'll actually turn the inlet off as well. Okay, so we've finished the sanitation process and we're gonna shut the inlet off. Next, we would open the faucet and allow the tank to completely drain. Okay, now you're gonna shut the system down by turning this, the tank off. And we're gonna disconnect everything and bring it back up top. You disconnect your tank your inlet feed, RO faucet, and the drain. Now we're gonna open up the housings, lube up the O-rings, and install the filters and membrane. We're going to remove the O-rings. Might take a few firm taps to get that O-ring out. And then we're going to, if there's any debris, just wipe it with a clean cloth. And then we're going to add the silicone. Tear that open. Apply it like so. And then spread it all over the o-ring. Replace it back in the groove. And then you're going to put your, your brand new filters. You'll unwrap them from the wrapping. Slide them in. Sediment filter is done. Move on to your other carbon filters. Membrane as well. Disconnect tubing. Using the same membrane, you'd remove it from water or replacing the membrane, unwrap it, slide it in, double O ring side first. Brine seal always last. If it only goes in that far, it means that it's not in all the way. 
There you go. There we go, all the way. Place the cap. Last step is replacing the final filter. So I usually remove my gloves at this time because this is all sealed up. There's no way you can contaminate this filter. You got your final polishing filter here. It's got caps on that. We'll take those off in a moment. First of all, we're going to remove this filter on this T fitting. You'll remove this tubing here, pushing on the collet, pulling the tube out. Take some pliers and we will and take the filter off completely. And on this side, we'll just unscrew this. This is two fittings that are connected together. We won't, we'll keep them together. We won't try to disconnect them. You got your flow always going towards the elbow. That's where your faucet is. It's your new fitting. Look for the word flow on it, flowing this way. Take your elbow fitting. Wrap the Teflon tape. If you hold the Teflon tape with it coming over the top in the right hand, hold the fitting the left hand. Start from underneath it, wrap clockwise, about four wraps or so, four or five wraps, nice and tight. There we go, remove the cap. These should be hand tight. This one here, because of the design, you are going to have to use pliers to tighten it. Just be careful not to over tighten. If you ever do see a drip, you can always add a little quarter turn later. So don't worry about making it crazy tight in the very beginning. Connect your T back up. Connect the drain back. Push in firmly. We'll hook the inlet feed and the tank. Tank goes to the T fitting. And the last one over on the other side of this filter your elbow fitting goes to your RO faucet. Okay, we're going to turn everything back on. I'm going to turn your tank valve on and turn your water inlet on. And now you'll start to hear water pressurizing the system. At this point, this is where you would look to look for any leaks, any drips, anything that didn't get tightened up quite enough. When you open the faucet, can open it up. You'll get some drips and you'll get some air and you'll get some black. That's just going to be the activated carbon filter flushing itself out. Um, after that occurs you can turn this back off and you can wait several hours, two, three, four hours. Once your tank is full then you'll go ahead and you'll open it up and you'll see probably more black and you'll drain that tank completely and then shut it off and by the time you get your next tank full you should be ready to go. That's the uh, complete version of a RO filter change and sanitation procedure. If you have any questions give us a call at 1-800-608-USWA. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.